Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. I'm going to attempt this. Um, <clears throat> this was a suggestion from <clears throat> from Jeffrey Marsh. I wanted to see a comparison vid of the Caladad versus Modelo Especial and Dos Equis, the green bottle. I don't have that one um, for me right now. Three of them, comparing all three, it's not gonna work for me. So I'm able to do these two, um, or I might be able to drink these two, but three beers, can't afford to waste, waste them. I wouldn't be able to drink them all three tonight. So I got an early morning. So hope that's cool with you, Jeffrey. Um, <clears throat> They said have tortilla chips for a palate cleanser. I got some I got some crumbs here. I can in between trying them. I don't usually do that. Probably a good idea to, to do that. Um, with three beers, yeah, that would be a good idea because so you can really get the flavors better, you know. So so I'm gonna use my lettered glass for like one of my five favorite beers, the Modelo Especial. Um, Caladad um, Lager, this is a really good beer. Um, <clears throat> this is a comparison video, it's not a versus video. There's no losers here. So, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so uh, I think the young lady's name was Emily that sent me um, two six packs, a six pack of the regular and a six pack of the light, um, which was very nice of her to do. Um, so, so here's the Caladad, Cerveza beer, classic Mexican style Cerveza, and then Modelo. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get after it here. Little bugs. Ooh, very good. <clears throat> Had a decent day at work, but after work coming home was not very good. You want to hear about it? Okay. <sighs> Modelo Caladad. The Modelo might be a little more deeper yellow. The Caladad smells a little sweeter. <clears throat> it also has that. <laughs> what is that? I wish I would remember what that was. There's something that's like, I want to say it's like, um, it's like a cactus or, or something that you would find growing in Mexico that you see it in as agave. Agave, that's what I was trying to think of before. This, I believe this smells like it has a little bit of agave in there. That's kind of what I'm getting. I don't, it's interesting. That is really good. It's, um, I think I was comparing it to like, uh, like a summer style beer. Um, <clears throat> I can't, 
can't remember what it was. <clears throat> what style it was. So this, this is sweet as well, but the Caladad is sweeter. Um, <clears throat> this actually has a very light cloudiness to it, whereas the Modelo is a little bit more clear. And I think the cloudiness could be contributed to some of the things that add into it um, like that flavoring that's in there um, it's not this isn't a basic lager you know what I mean and it being a Mexican style there could be a little bit of something else in there there could be the agave there could be um, excuse me Might be a little bit of salt in there too. Might be a little bit of a, a sea salt or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe a little lime is already in there. It's hard to tell. Modelo has got a little bit more of a um, um, barley malts <clears throat> on the back end it's a little bit more bitter it's a smooth beer but this one here doesn't have any it doesn't have a uh, it has a little bit of, a, of that barley malt on the back end but, but not very much it's just a more smooth it's actually more smooth than the Modelo is because it's different, you know. This is, this isn't a common, common lager. <clears throat> the. Uh, The body on this is about medium. The carbonation is light. And on the Modelo. Light to medium. The carbonation is about the same. It's kind of light. Um, they're two really good beers. And this being the popular brand, you know, it's obvious this is I mean, this is a great quality beer. Um, <clears throat> this being a brand I've never heard of, they've done a phenomenal job on this. If you can contact them, get a hold of these people and see if you can order some of their beers. I think it'd be worth it for you to check it out because they're really good quality beers. I don't know where they distribute. I should have asked. Um, I should have asked. I want to say her name is Emily. I hope I'm not wrong. Since she's in my Gmail, but where they distribute, where you can buy them in store somewhere, what states, um, unless they're only available in Mexico. These are, this is a 5% ABV, and what is, this is a 4.4% ABV. Um, the bottle for Cerveceria Caladad LLC out of Los Angeles, California, bottled by Smiling Sun Brewing Company, Denver, Colorado. So it does not say that it's made in Mexico. So it might be easy to find here in the States if you know exactly where to look we should contact go to their site their website find them on I think they're in Facebook maybe um, and ask them some questions say where can I buy your beer um, do you ship 
much, stuff like that. <clears throat> the light version was really good too. So, uh, yeah, check them out. Here, I, I forgot all about my tortilla chips sitting over there. I was getting into this and Get out of here. I've had a bad day. Hmm. Not a bad day, but it was just a bad trip home. I don't know if your state is the same as mine. I mean, <clears throat> or your city. I live in Tulsa. I have never seen so much construction anywhere else in my life. They, they, they are tearing up streets fixing, I mean, we, we want our streets repaired, yes. But when, when they are all over town, everywhere, everywhere, on the highway, down neighborhoods, I mean, they're just everywhere. And <clears throat> they're blocking off off ramps, um, blocking off streets, lanes, It's, they're just everywhere. You you cannot go anywhere without seeing construction going on. <clears throat> and it makes for a bad commute. Okay. I don't want to complain about it. The city workers, construction guys, were doing us a favor by fixing our streets, but we have one area that they've been working on it for, I don't know, it's probably getting close to two years now. And it's like, why does it take so long? You know? Well, today, <clears throat> on my way home yesterday, this lane that off ramps onto the, the, the highway I need to go on to get home. They, they blocked off a little ways and then they swerved it in back into the lane where then you can use it to get to go off that off ramp, okay? <clears throat> so. Do I expect it to be totally closed today? No, I didn't expect that. I didn't see anything, any signs that say off ramp such and such is closed. Detour this other way. If I would have known that ahead of time, I could have took a different way. So <clears throat> on my way home, I'm thinking I can get over no, I see now, southbound, lane, closed. I'm like, really? So I get up there, sure enough. So I need to go this way, right? It off ramps this way to the left. They force me to go straight and curve around and go the opposite direction. Going that opposite direction, there's no way to get off the street in time to correct yourself to go go back the way you need to go and it's really busy traffic and you are pushed <clears throat> it's, it's so busy you can't hardly think about oh, 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 oh. i'm not familiar with the highways it probably might have helped if i'm fam familiar with this part of town I'm going downtown <coughs> i try to stay away from downtown as much as I can. Have you ever seen the movie Escape from New York? That's what it's about like. 
it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Our downtown is. Well, you know what? It's bad everywhere. We have vagabonds, vagrants, what do you want to call them? Bums. They. <clears throat> that's a big population here in Tulsa. And um, every town, every city's got them. They're everywhere. And we have them. We have them uh, camping up under the trees <laughs> all over downtown, and on the on the green, you know, the green grassy banks, you can see their tents set up. They use tarps a lot of times, set up there, and there's like grocery baskets underneath there, and, and they have, and sometimes their, their clothes are just strewn about everywhere. It's sad. It really is that we have that many. I mean, why do we have that many? I mean, I see, I see, seventy-five percent of them when they're when they got their signs up wanting money. They look physically fit to me. I don't see any reason why they can't, you know, get a job somewhere, making some money, enough to, you know, survive off the streets instead of on the streets and the elements. You know, it's it's bad. It gets to a hundred and. 10 degrees sometimes in the summertime it's i mean people are having strokes and dying in the cold i don't know they, they probably can find a shelter type of a place but i don't know that world so anyway back to the story So when I exit, when I found a place to exit, because I was forced to go the other direction, right? I pull into a parking lot somewhere, and I use Google Maps. I put in where I want to go, so that <clears throat> the Alexa lady or whatever her name is can now. Uh, And tell me which ways to go without me having to think. Okay, so I know I know in this part of town there's a place I can take a right and go over a bridge and get to where I'm going. I can't remember what street it is. <clears throat> so usually the Google Maps lady knows that there's road closings and she even said you can go this way to avoid road closings i trusted her she let me down so <clears throat> she told me get onto the highway right up here <clears throat> so i think i'm thinking that i'm past where it was where it was uh, where it was closed I'm thinking I'm, it's, I'm past it then. If she's telling me to get on here to go to where I need to go, it should I should be past where it was closed. And I get on there. <clears throat> and I'm going along. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. you got to be kidding me. I knew this looked kind of familiar. She put me right back on there again. Is it going to be open now? No. It's not going to be open, Jerry. It's still closed. You're going to go back the other way again. The same way you just... You just was forced to go before. So here I go again. On my own. <laughs> it's a song. White Snake. Um... <clears throat> Leave me alone. I am not in the mood. You hear me? So. <clears throat> so 
so I'm going, going, and going. I, and she tells me to exit up here on the left. I exit up ahead, because she told me to. And it's probably the worst part of town. Worst. Part of town, you lock your doors. Because when you stop at a stoplight, you don't know what's going to happen. Anyway. <clears throat> so, uh... <clears throat> My wife texts me because we, we have a uh, uh, life 360 I think it's called where she can see where I'm at and I can see where she's at she sees me like she can you imagine she sees me where where is he going she figured I'm on my way home and she sees me going all kinds of places you know and why is he going around in circles you know I'm driving, I can't answer her. I see she's texts, you know, so I try to exit when I can. <coughs> I pull into, I think it's a Wendy's parking lot or something. No, yeah, something like that. So I call her. I am a little irate with the situation. To the point where I'm frazzled. I don't know which way to go. I'm in my hometown. I lived here 38, 39 years. <clears throat> and I don't know which way to go. <laughs> I really have a bad sense of direction. I know you guys are saying, so what isn't wrong with you, Jerry? You have so many problems. Are you a problem child? Were you a problem child? No. <clears throat> That's a good kid. Smart and... <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so anyway, <clears throat> she says, remember, the street that you need to turn right on to go over the bridge is 21st Street. That sounds familiar. I could not remember what street that was. So when I'm, when I'm going, I don't wanna stop. I just wanna keep going to find my way. I don't wanna stop to you know, contact her to find out what street was that, you know? Is it a man thing? Probably. Stop and ask for directions? No. You don't need to do that. I know my way. You're crazy. I said, okay. <clears throat> she says, do you see, do you see Peoria? I think it's right out there. I'm, I'm seeing Pine Street. So go to Peoria and take a right. Go to 21st Street. And then, know, then you know where you're at. Take your right. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. So, finally made it home. But, the whole way, construction, construction. Any construction guys watching, 
I don't blame you guys. You're doing your job. You do a good job. You're doing, you're taking your orders from somebody else and you're doing what you're told and you're doing it efficiently and as fast as you can. I, I understand that. It's just that there is just so much, just so much. Seems like back in the day, more construction was focused on one area to get it done and then move to the next project. It's not like that these days. I think it might be because <clears throat> it's not all city people. It's it's road construction companies or something like that, I think. Different companies. There's a, there's a, like a, a hornet or yellow jacket. Get, get off. I will punch you in the face. You think I won't? This can's empty, you can have it. Try to get in my beer, you see that? Here he comes again, you see him? I told you I wouldn't, I punched him. It was more of a slap, but I think he learned his lesson. He's like, blah, 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 dang, why did he do that for? I just wanted to be friends. And he up and slapped me with <laughs> Me and Yellow Jackets have a bad history. When I worked for the city, I wasn't on road construction or anything like that. I was working for a company, for a, for a, a, a department called Stormwater Management. And if you know that, see, you hear the title of that, what that means. It means that our job was to clean out ditches so that stormwater can run freely and not overflow into the streets. Excuse me. So we was weed eating and chainsawing and hack weed whacking. I was, I had a weed eater. My weed eater is one of those ones that had a chain, who had a, a saw blade, not string, it was a saw blade. Because I was cutting, you know, bigger, bigger weeds with bigger stems. And I was going along in high weeds, about three feet high. All of a sudden, I, you know, yellow jackets, they, they bore into the ground. Their nest is in the ground. They don't make nests in trees like hornets do or bees or whatever. Yellow jackets, their nest is in the ground. Well, <clears throat> I'm hovering right above them, making them mad, stirring them up. And they just start coming out of there like, like little gladiators. They start attaching to my face and stinging my face. I had a long sleeve shirt on. Man, they were after me. When they were done with me, I looked like the lion man. My face swelled up. It, it didn't swell up immediately. But my supervisor found me walking away from the site. <clears throat> Put me in the truck, took me to the the main office and where my vehicle was and I went home but by the time I got home I looked I looked like the lion man I had to go to the to the doctor I was afraid to go out for fear that people would be scared of me or kids or would tease me and laugh at me because I looked funny 
I didn't want to go. I went anyway. Nobody judged me by my appearance. <laughs> Got some. What is it? Some kind of medicine for this for the swellage, you know. Oh. After after my time trying to get home. This just feels really good. But I'm gonna stop here because I got a pairing, I got a I got another video to do, okay? One of my ten, one of my 10k videos. But I enjoy talking to you guys. You're a really good audience. And, and, and really nice people. <laughs> I like you. Okay. So, Jeffrey, there's your video, buddy. watching I appreciate it I don't even know if I finished my story I have no idea I got home safely as you can see <clears throat> yeah a little stressed but I'm calmed down now there's no yellow jackets in there is there hello See you on the next one. Bye. Check out my next vid. 10K. Doing a doing a beer doing a beer nuts. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you on the next one. Bye.